Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, I'm going to basically be going over the ultimate Windows 10 optimization. And I'm just going to go over a lot of things that I didn't go over in my last video. So this is going to be an updated guide from the last one on optimizing Windows 10. So this is Windows 10 specifically. I already made a video on Windows 11. It's kind of similar, but there are some differences. So just go watch that one instead of this one if you are on Windows 11. But anyways, before we get started watching this, Go to the link in the description and download the pack file that we're going to be using for this video because a lot of the stuff is just going to come from there just because a lot of the stuff is automated. Just go down to the link in the description and download that and continue watching this. So once you have it downloaded and it's on your desktop, all you want to do is just right click on it and using WinRAR or 7-Zip, you just want to click extract files and then press OK. And the password is going to be zilly.net and just press OK and it will start extracting the files. Now once this is extracted, you just want to double click on it and basically all the steps are shown here now before we do anything before we click on anything we want to go to the first folder which is called before anything do this double click on there double click on create a system restore point and just go quickly create a system restore point before doing anything you can call this whatever you want just make sure you do create one in case you don't like the changes we make you can just easily revert back to this restore point using system restore so once you've done that just press ok and then go back we're going to go to registry and cmd and basically these are all the basic registry tweaks and all the basic cmd tweaks that you need to do for windows 10 right here packaged up for you so this is going to do a lot of the stuff within windows settings so we're going to kind of skip a lot of that we're still going to go over that but just basically double click on whichever one you need so if you're on a laptop you double click obviously the ones that say laptop if you're on a desktop you just double click the other ones all right so once you find whichever one you need to run which is either desktop or laptop all you want to do is double click power run underscore x64.exe and you want to just drag whichever one you need to use into there so for example w10 registry tweaks just drag it into there and it should add it right here under file location just press the little run file button press yes and press ok and we're just using the power run program to avoid any errors while importing the registry tweaks so you can close out of that now now we can run the bcd tweaks desktop only just double click that and as you can see it's done just press a key now we're going to go back we're going to go to uninstall windows blue aware and just double click this and this will basically uninstall all the useless stuff for example that you see under apps and all the useless stuff that you can't like click on and press uninstall on this will uninstall it the ones you don't need so double click on this let it do its thing it is going to take a minute or two just because it's, it's a lot of stuff these commands do take a while for them to actually register so just run this it's going to stay open like this for like a minute or two and basically it'll just close whenever it's done so all right so as you can see it's pretty much closed out it's done so so now I could go back, I could go to auto runs, which is going to be the third step in this. So just double click on there and just double click auto runs.exe. And as you can see, this will basically show us everything that runs on the PC as soon as it logs on and as soon as it turns on. So as soon as you sign into your PC, this is all the stuff that runs. Basically, you're going to uncheck stuff here and we're going to delete these yellow exe files because these are basically files that don't even exist, but the entry is still there. So go to log on for now, just find these yellow ones and you can just right click click delete and you could delete them for example but some of them if they give you an error just ignore those and then press the refresh button go to schedule task and do the same thing here just uncheck anything that you don't need in here or just delete it so for example i don't need the microsoft edge update stuff so i'm going to uncheck that go to services same thing here just beware you might break some programs in here and you're going to have a lot more than this i'm going to pretty much optimized system i don't have any bloatware installed so if you have a lot of bloatware installed you're going to see a lot of services under here so just make sure you figure out what you're disabling before you disable it like actually read the auto runs name and the description and see what it does so this edge services i don't need you gotta check those and i'm gonna go to drivers drivers you don't want to uncheck anything here just if there's something yellow in here just right click on it and click delete that's pretty much it for auto runs just refresh it and double check all those tabs that we just went over make sure they look clean and good then you can close out of this now we're gonna go back we're gonna go to power plan and this is basically a power plan that gets imported with the bat file so all you want to do is just double click on this and by the way with all the bat files that in this video you just want to right click on them and click run as admin 
administrator if they do not work. I forgot to do that for the other ones, but just make sure you do that for all the bat files. So once you do that, it's going to say all done. You just press a key and now we're going to search up power and click choose a power plan and make sure it's set to high performance. Now this is a kind of tweaked version of high performance power plan. So it is the default high performance power plan, but there are some changes made to this power plan with bat file. So once you've done that, we can go back, we could go to MSI mode for drivers and this is really important. Basically, if you have all your NVIDIA drivers and AMD drivers or whatever card you have, then you can check this and make sure that they are in MSI mode. So just double click on this and all you want to do is just find your graphics card, for example, the NVIDIA GTX 1650. Just make sure this is checked. If it's checked, set to undefined, press apply, refresh, and double check that it is still checked and undefined. Now, you can close this. We could go back. We could go to GP related and these are just GP related things that you got to do. So I'm not going to cover these in this video it's already been covered through a lot of videos on my youtube channel already so if you go in either one of these folders it just takes you to the recent video that i've made on either graphics cards which are pretty good so go watch those highly really important gonna get most out of your fps just from that right there then go back after you've watched those and we're gonna disable just general things within common programs like discord your epic games launchers and like all the other launchers for your games so for discord all you want to do is just go to the user settings on the bottom left and you want to scroll down go to game overlay turn this off don't ever use it it's gonna really just destroy your fps if you use it so don't use it go to advanced turn off hardware acceleration and we're gonna go to voice and video scroll the way down and you could turn off debug logging so there's not extra resources being used for discord once you've done that you could close out of that and if you have epic games the launcher you could pretty much open that and you could go to the settings in it turn it off whenever it tries to turn on whenever you open up windows so go to settings uncheck minimize the system tray and uncheck when, when my computer starts and then uncheck the notifications and you can pretty much do this for all launchers for any game so you can do the same thing for steam for origin ea basically any launcher that you have disable those settings and you should be good to go and make sure to disable the game overlays that these launchers give you for whatever reason they like to throw in an overlay every time you play a game you don't want those so once you've done with that we could go back now and we could pretty much go over the basic window settings and make sure those are straight so just press windows key and i on your keyboard and we're going to go to system and you could pretty much just scroll down go to graphics settings make sure hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is off and you can go back go to notifications make sure these are off and we're going to go back again we're going to go to gaming and turn off the xbox game bar if it's not already off and game mode 90 percent of you should just turn this off if you're on a quad core processor keep this on or test out if it helps you or not but yeah in most cases this does not help it just reduces your fps it's kind of like the same thing as hardware accelerate gpu scheduling same effect but yeah go back to home we're gonna go to apps and again, like this is really important, just uninstall apps you don't use. It's really just gonna make your PC feel a lot better and you're gonna have less issues in the future. So just uninstall apps you don't use and then go to startup, turn off anything here that you don't need. Go back to home, we're gonna go to personalization, go to colors and you can turn off transparency effects if it's not already off. Go back to home, go to update and security and under Windows update, you wanna just pause your updates for as long as possible just because Windows updates, if you get a big enough update it will reset all of the registry things that we just ran so i recommend just pausing updates or disabling them entirely and this is due to just updates can corrupt your computer or they could just install a buggy update or the updates are completely pointless and it just reduce your performance and another thing would be windows security you could disable windows defender i have a whole video on how to do that just go watch that i'm not going to cover it in this video just because this is just a windows 10 optimization guide some people are not comfortable disabling windows security but it is a major performance benefit just disabling that just because to be honest it just destroys your fps so once you've done that you're pretty much good to go all these settings look perfectly fine you can pretty much close out of here restart your pc make sure everything's good make sure everything's running good launch your games test it out and see how it feels and you could pretty much notice a big difference straight away if however this was a very basic video to you and you didn't really notice a difference or you did everything and you still didn't notice a difference you can always go to the first link in the description a book 
book a full PC optimization service with me where I go through your PC and basically optimize everything possible. A lot of these videos are just basic videos. I don't really go in depth in a lot of things like bios. I, a lot of that stuff I just leave in the service just because it's easier to do in the service and get it done within an hour or two hours depending on which plan you pick. So go to the first link in the description and book an optimization whenever you are ready. But anyways guys that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.